turning customer complaint into selling opportunities. Case study. Let's face it. For most of us, when a customer complains, most of us don't get up and start dancing with joy. After all, if they're complaining, they're upset with us and want someone to take it out on. Many customers have previous bad experiences with customer service, so they assume their experience with you will be wrong too. And that means their tone of voice and attitude aren't the best right from the start. Solution. If the customer doesn't call, they continue to be angry and dissatisfied with your product or service. They harbor resentment, and in most cases, it means they'll never come back to your restaurant. The first rule is always to remember that the way I speak has a great deal of influence on how the customer speaks to me. If you are surly, short, or uncaring, it's likely to quickly escalate the customer's unhappiness. A pleasant tone of voice and a smile on your face can go a long way to helping someone calm down. Let the customer know. You understand and will do your best to help. Once a problem is fixed or a solution is found, it's a great time to help your restaurant and yourself by cross-selling or upselling. Example, McDonald's sells tons of apple pies by simply training their people to ask after every order gets placed. Would you like an apple pie with that? But each time it gets offered to me, there's a moment when the customer considers it. Survey. Take the time to figure out how you can help your customers better and satisfy their needs and help yourself and your restaurant by selling them something. Check on us and my Philly had mayonnaise on it. I'm sorry about that. I'm 
Well, here's your check. Okay. Well, have a good day, ladies. Thank you. Hey, are you, are you not going to take this stuff? I got a food runner. Don't get it. Thank you. 